Over the weekend, uh, there was another snow ice storm uh, in the northeast. Uh, it didn't hit us that badly. Uh, mostly it was in Connecticut. But I thought maybe it's time that I should make an uh, emergency lighting set up for my uh, bedroom at least. I have a lot of uh, leftover LEDs. Uh, I have a west facing bedroom. Uh, I get sun all uh, afternoon. So I figure maybe I can use a small solar panel. I have a 1.8 watt uh, solar panel uh, that I got from before. Actually I got a pair of them. Maybe I can just uh, use one of it uh, together with a lead acid uh, battery, maybe like a 7 amp hour. Um, I've been using this solar charge controller for my garage lighting. It can control the lighting. Uh, you can set when you want it uh, to be. Basically, you, you can set how many hours it, uh, it can go on. Uh, this solar charger doesn't have that capability, so I'm going to use the other one. Uh, I will use something similar like this. Uh, this is a 5 amp hour. I will use a uh, 7 amp hour. I just uh, ordered one online, maybe about 20 bucks. Um, this uh, solar charger will uh, keep a uh, good voltage uh, for my less lead acid battery and uh, it would uh, control also when you know the lighting would turn off in the bedroom. I was thinking of using a, a small uh, basically a CD case for it. I would stick the LEDs into the side of the um, CD case and then the bottom I would just uh, screw onto the wall and attach an on off uh, switch at the front there. That way I can uh, uh, unscrew the uh, case uh, if uh, the LEDs uh, go bad. Actually I, I've had uh, good luck with the LEDs. Uh, I have uh, garage uh, LED emergency light or uh, regular light and they've been working for over a year so basically I'm just gonna do something like this as in the picture put an on off switch uh, put a charge controller somewhere below together with the uh, lead acid battery hang the solar panel up I think a 1.8 watt should do if not I'll put another uh, additional panel up. So this should uh, work well for my emergency bedroom light.